Hello, hello, you beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk about things like love, spirituality, law of attraction, and all of that juicy goodness. We are here for our midweek reading. I am going to do about a 15 minute read here for YouTube. And then the extended will be available over on Awaken Your Magic, my online community of like-minded souls who are here to grow, heal, evolve, so that we can co-create the life of our dreams. And we are going to see what the energy is after this new moon. Um, if you did not see my new moon energy reading that I posted on Monday, I will leave the link here so you guys can go check that out. But we're going to move forward and see what's ahead for the rest of this week. I feel guided to, I already opened up sacred space. I already called in my guides. I was just on a couple client calls. So my space is sacred and good to go. But I feel guided to do an animal deck to start off. Don't even tell me this is peace. Oh, okay, it's the dog spirit. Before I started filming, I, my, I kept hearing my guides say, be peace, be peace, be peace. And there's a, um, a, a dove card. Stop it. I just found it. This never happens. And I was picturing this card. So I was thinking this is what was going to come out. Okay, but we did get the dog spirit, which is be loyal to what you love, number 19. And I see this as, if you find something in your life that you are just so freaking passionate about and you just, you're just like, I love this and I want to nurture it and I don't want to lose it and I want to keep it. And you're just going to be so incredibly loyal. And look how beautiful this card is. Look at the purples and the pinks and the greens. It kind of the green, the bottom half of the card matches my outfit. I always say my guides match my outfits. <laughs> and this is the cutest little overall set that I got. It's like an olive green and it's fitted and they're like short shorts. And it's just like this linen texture and it feels so light. It feels like you're wearing nothing, um, but it matches. And my guides always match the cards to my outfits, but this is 19, it adds up to 10, which is a completion energy. But if you think about with dogs, you know, like they are so incredibly consistent. Like you can come home every single day and your dog can be waiting at your door in so much joy. And I always teach my feminine clients that like, imagine if we were those kinds of moms and wives, if we were just this consistent joy for our family. You know, for me, I would love for my nieces and my nephews and maybe my future babies and my husband to, you know, when I die, I would love for them to say, you know what, no matter what, she still brought me joy every time I saw her. She still found some glimmer of light to bring me, even if she was suffering. She still made me laugh, or maybe she made a joke about her suffering, or, you know, but she was just this steady, consistent energy every time I saw her. And that's almost like what spirit is trying to say here. It's trying to say like, be loyal to what you love. If something is so consistent in your life, appreciate it. Don't let it walk right by you. Love that dog, love that person, love that job. Be loyal to what you love. Do not walk through life not appreciating what you have. It is the biggest mistake on planet earth to have something and not appreciate it and then to lose it. That's the first message along with the B piece, which I think I probably should have just pulled this card anyway, because my guides are telling me about it beforehand. Um, okay, let's move on. Now I'm going to use an angel deck, which I love. We're going to get some messages from your angels. All right, let's see what we got. This is a little bit of a thicker deck, so it doesn't always have jumpers as much. I might have to cut it. Mm, we got one. This is Metatron. So we have regain your focus. Trivial life matters are distracting you from your goals. Archangel Metatron and I are here to help you stay grounded. 27. So distractions can be people, places, and things, addictions, thought patterns, um, environments. If you are not creating in your life right now, what is taking up your mind space? What is blocking you? What is stopping you from working out? What is stopping you from journaling? Where are you distracted? And when we take inventory of what's in our bubble and we say, okay, I can see how I'm not focused where I should be focused and I'm not creating my life because I'm too busy trying to fix somebody else or too busy trying to 
sort out my finances or whatever it is, you're distracted where Archangel Metatron is saying, let go of the reins and say, I don't need to focus over here. I'm only going to put my focus on what I want to create and where I could be best of service. And this happens to me too, you guys. So don't beat yourself up. This is normal. Sometimes we need somebody to cut, to take a sword and just to cut through all the BS in our lives to be like, focus, like, let's start creating, <laughs> stop focusing on the wrong things or the people that are matrixy um, robots in your reality that are here to distract you. But I always believe that every distraction is a redirection and it's also a lesson. So they're, they're meant to be there too. Okay. Let's do some Micah magic. Micah, Micah, Micah. Every time I used to walk in, if anybody's new to my channel, I had a daughter named Micah. She's the cutest little soul on the planet. Her eyes were so, so soulful. Um, she was born with a muscle disorder, bottom of the deck, windfall of money. She's going to be bringing us the lottery. Um, but she was born with a muscle disorder and we did not know during my pregnancy. And she passed away at six months old or six weeks old. And I always used to walk into her crib area when we were in CHOP and I would say, Micah, 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 mommy loves you. Um, or I would say, Micah, 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 can you hear mommy's heartbeat? So it would always be that tune, Micah, Micah, Micah. And um, so I created a deck in memory of her. It's called Micah Magic. So if you would like to purchase this, it's on my website. It's in the description box below. Um, and let's just pause right now and honor the fact that if anybody has lost a baby, if anybody has had a miscarriage, if anybody has lost a child, a parent, a sibling, a spouse, boyfriend or girlfriend, whoever it is, don't lose track of the, of the idea that they're just in the next room. It is painful as hell. <laughs> it is so painful, but moving forward, don't forget to talk to them. They're literally, I believe that Micah, my dad, my high school boyfriend, I believe they're all in the room right next door. And I can just talk to them at any moment. Say, Micah, can you bring me some money? Dad, could you bring me my favorite outfit when I go shopping today? Um, you know, Kevin, my ex-boyfriend, Kevin, can you make me hit every green light? I just believe in speaking to them. And I know that I was guided to create this deck to teach other people to open up communication. This is my way of giving Micah an avenue to to bring words to me so I know what to do on my journey next. And I can then share it with you guys. And if you guys want to buy my deck, then you have Micah bringing you the messages that a windfall of money is coming or to set energetic boundaries. Where are you not doing that in your life? Where are you letting people um, distract you? There seems to be a lot of distraction right now that's keeping you from creating. So we just got two messages. We got be peace. Be loyal to what you love. Do not let these other lower vibrations distract, distract you. Set energetic boundaries and talk to your loved ones. They want to hear from you. Imagine if you were on the other side, right? Say you passed away and you're just in the next room and you're watching your loved one go through life and they're struggling and you're like able to help, but they have to verbally say it out loud, but you can't tell them to say it out loud. <laughs> How frustrating is that? You're dropping them feathers, you're dropping them hearts, you're dropping them signs, angel numbers, and they're still not talking to you. So this is why you need to start talking to your loved ones and as if they're in the room right next door to you. They want to help you. And anytime I get Mother Mary, <laughs> this is confirmation, like, heck yes. This is all about the spirit world. When she comes through, it's a mother energy saying, speak to me. I will take care of you. I will mother you through the situation. And maybe you need help with those. Maybe you need help with those energetic boundaries because you're, you're not strong enough to cut the cord, right? Or you're not strong enough to unhook it and take it out of your energy field because you're scared to let go. Because when we let go of something, we don't know if something new is going to come, but we have to learn that if we unhook and let go, if it's meant to be, it'll come back. We have to get really good with detachment and flow and not gripping. Come out of your cave. 100%, this is you getting out of the cave of distraction. Something is distracting you. Where are you not showing up in your life the way the world needs you to? Another windfall type of card, 888, abundance in all forms. 
when you come out of your cave, when you start sharing your gifts with the world, when you start putting your book out there, when you start putting your podcast out there, the YouTube channel, um, the ebook, the website, the blog, maybe the Etsy page, maybe somebody wants to start an Etsy page and sell their art or something. When you do your spiritual mission, all the money starts flowing in. It comes in the most random ways. And it is so fun to see when that receptive mode opens and you start to receive, it's because you first um, pushed down the first domino. You took action to do the thing that you came here to do. And now the universe is reflecting back to you that it's like a high five, like, yeah, you did it. Now we're going to bring you money because you did it. So your direct energy, if you're creating a podcast, right, you're not immediately going to make money off of a podcast. So if you take action to start the podcast and then all of a sudden you get money from a family member or somebody buys you a gift card or you just get treated to something, this is God in the universe saying, hey, we see you working on that podcast, so we're going to pay you for it. So keep track of how the universe works in mysterious ways to pay you for your mission work when your mission work isn't receiving pay. Really good message. That's why they say you do it anyway, even though you're not getting paid because technically you're still getting paid, but most people don't connect the dots. So let go of old behaviors. Again, distraction energy, addictions. My legs are falling asleep. So we're gonna open up the leggies. Good thing the camera's not lower. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let's keep flowing. Five, five, five. Good changes come in. We love this one. All right, Micah, bring us some more messages. What else do we need to hear? You are being admired online. When I get this card, it's kind of like a wink from the universe saying you're seen. They see you working, whether it's your friends, your family, your spirit guides. Sometimes I like to believe this is my spirit guide sending me a message saying that they're admiring, admiring me like they're online is them being in the spirit world. <laughs> um, and then we have follow the signs. So yeah, another confirmation is when you're being admired online, it's almost like your spirit family is sending you signs. And when you're seeing these signs, they're admiring you. They're saying, yes, we see you thanking us for the angel numbers. We see you thanking us for the hearts. So it's like a confirmation, or you could really just be being admired online because of your, you know, you finally took action to put yourself out into the world, doing the podcast, doing Instagram, doing TikTok. And now people are seeing you, even though, remember, even though people are not liking your video, they're not commenting on it. They still are getting um, energy from it. You know, when I first started posting on YouTube, my Instagram like never really grows that much. I want it to grow. Sometimes my YouTubers will go over there, but I don't always know whether I'm reaching people's hearts until they DM me and they're like, hey, I love your Instagram. I know I don't like everything. I know I don't comment on everything, but just like, just let you know you're doing good work. So when I get a message like that on my Instagram, which is not my favorite avenue, it's not my favorite platform. My favorite is YouTube, but when I get feedback on Instagram, even though I'm not getting any kind of like physical um, feedback in likes and comments, when I get a DM like that, it keeps me going because I'm like, oh, wow, people are seeing it, even though they're not telling me. So this message is for you. If you're out there posting something and you're only getting like 20 views, 60 views, um, no likes, people are still seeing it. They're just not, they're just not interacting and that's okay. Be mindful of your thoughts. So don't let your fear get the best of you and say, nobody's listening. I'm not going to get any clients from this. You just keep putting that energy out there and the universe will pay you in a different way. You just keep doing what brings you joy. Okay. We're going to switch decks now. We're going to wrap up this reading for YouTube and then we're going to do the extended. Um, Let's do a little light seer tarot. I like this. Chris Ann's light seer tarot. Let's see what message we need to hear. First one that flipped. Can you guys see that? We have 10 of pentacles. This is a happy marriage, happy pentacles, happy money, 
happy chandelier, happy decorations, dogs, kids, all the things. Be loyal to what you love, I heard. Be loyal to what you love and that will arrive. King of swords. So this is a man of logic. This is a man of, um, he follows spirit too. If you can see all the spirit animals, he's learning about the signs and the synchronicities. He's not quite sure because he's very logical. He's like, I don't know what to make of this. I don't know if I believe in these signs, but yet they're around him. So it's almost like he's so logical and spirit's trying to get him to see it. But look what he's wearing. He looks a part of nature. He looks like he's got his own set of wings. So it could be in this specific reading, this might be saying that a man of logic might be switching his role. He might be opening up to spirit. My lips are a little dry. Quick break. Little moisturizer. Okay. So a man of logic or a woman of logic might be opening up their field to be, to trusting spirit, to seeing how spirit is guiding them to something better. Yep. They're becoming the, magi the magician. They're seeing their magic. They're understanding that they are actually manifesting things in their life. And they're like, this shit works. <laughs> oh my God, this person who I know is very spiritual and they've been telling me about this. And now I'm finally doing it and seeing it in my own life. So this is basically saying somebody that didn't believe in the universe and signs and synchronicities is now believing and they're seeing it because they're doing it in their own life. And now they want to manifest you. Now they want to manifest this for themselves. And this is a lot of pentacles, right? So 10 of pentacles is all about abundance and abundant life with you. They want to travel. They want to have the home, the family. They want to have everything with you. And maybe it's because they're seeing you online and they're seeing you co-create they're seeing that you're the magician and they want that with you. They don't want to be with somebody else who doesn't know how to do all of this. It's also a boring life, right? When you're not with somebody that knows how to manifest or if they don't know how to manifest, it's like, there's no magic. There's no flow. There's no excitement. There's no joy. You know, it's just kind of somebody who's been a victim of their reality and they're just always complaining. <laughs> Heck yes the lovers. It's all coming together. Your person, your partnership is coming together because your person is finally opening up and the, the universe was in charge of their awakening. They were not in charge of it. They are finally seeing their magic. They're seeing your magic. They admire you online. Good changes coming. They're getting rid of the distractions in their life. They're being loyal to what they love because they want their peace. What a beautiful message. All right, final card for um, for YouTube. Ooh, okay. This is gonna be good to see what happens in the extended. We have eight of swords and it came out in reverse. So somebody, oh, I wonder how they get out of this trapped energy. So in the extended, we're gonna figure out how or why or when, how this is gonna unfold. If this... This is like somebody trapped in a situation, there's no way out. How can they possibly get to you and get this when they're in this energy? So we're gonna ask spirit how that happens and when that's going to happen. Because we're getting some indica indicator that it's coming, but then we get this card and that throws a loop in it. That's saying, hold up, this isn't quite here yet because this is here. And again, this matches my outfit. <laughs> spirit is so funny. All right, so we're going to end this here. If you want to see the extended to see what happens with this reading, we're going to ask where the divine masculine is at, how this is going to come to fruition, how is he going to get out of this situation or her, um, and then we'll see what's in the future for this couple, maybe what kind of mission work they're going to be doing. So we're going to answer those questions in the extended. YouTube family, I love you. Thank you for being here. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for always supporting me and my channel, and I will see you all in the next one. All right, lovies, peace out.